Oh. My money gone at me. Give me one second. What is up, guys? It is your girl back with another makeup tutorial. For today's tutorial, I will be showing you guys how I get this look right here. I do consider this to be a long wearing, long lasting, summer, very lightweight, glowy makeup look just because I did not use foundation for this makeup routine that I have right here. I kept it as lightweight as I could. I kept it as fresh, as like glowy, as just very nice and vibrant, very flawless, very airbrushed as I could. What I did wanted to show you guys how you can get a beautiful canvas, how you can have your makeup long wearing, long lasting, and not have to pile makeup upon makeup upon makeup i'm gonna show you guys how i get this look right here this is kind of like my go-to summer makeup look and this is also my go-to how i keep my makeup long lasting um there's just certain things that i do like to do to my makeup to make it look long lasting and i also certain things that i do do to my makeup or to my makeup routine to just make it look just very flawless and airbrushed. I had a lot of compliments on my foundation routine. A lot of people tell me how beautiful it looks. A lot of people tell me how airbrushed it looks. A lot of people tell me just how just flawless and just very natural and I do want to show you guys how you can create that if that is what you guys are into or if you guys are just here for shits and giggles then you know what? We're going to do shits and giggles for you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you guys how I get this look right here. It's not too much. It's not like over the top. But it is some of my tips and tricks that I can share with you guys. So, vamanos, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So in order to achieve that beautiful, fresh, glowy makeup look, kind of like that no makeup makeup look where your makeup just looks very nice and flawless, kind of airbrushed, I did exfoliate my face. I also applied a ton of moisturizer on my face just because I am on the drier side. My skin is very dry very cakey sometimes so i kind of have to exfoliate and do a lot of like moisturizing on the face and i did put the under eye cream as well so everything is nice and prepped we have a nice smooth canvas going on right now so in order to achieve that beautiful glowy makeup especially in the summer where you kind of want uh, that like no makeup makeup look but you also want to look like nice and fresh and dewy just you want to look beautiful you want to look goddess like i am going to prep the skin first off this is the lumi the magic lumi by l'oreal this is a primer but you can also use this kind of like a highlighter i'm going to use it all over the face to prep the skin to prime the skin and this is what's going to give us that start of that glowy that glowy start as you guys can see i kind of look like a donut right now and that's exactly what i'm looking for um prepping the skin is very important because if you don't prep the skin then you're gonna get the results that you're gonna get you know so it's kind of like a good fresh start basically so i am making my face nice and fresh and I do like to make sure it's really in there and I don't know if you guys can see I have a little something something going on right over here we are going to deal with that a little bit later on the next thing that I like to do is hide those under eye circles because this is not a fresh dewy summer makeup look if your under eye circles are peeking through so just applying that as so with my ring finger and I am going to be using a lot of creams in this tutorial today which is kind of weird for me because I don't use creams as much on my normal routine, but for this particular routine, I feel like it makes your skin just looks, it just looks beautiful. Uh, so that's why I'm saying prep, prep, prep your skin. Once that is done, I need to go get a tissue. What I have been doing, I have been using another primer, which is a primer mist. This is the Scandinavia Primer Mist, and I really like this because what it does, it kind of like, this gives me the ultimate glow, but this really makes my makeup click and like stick to the foundation. And this is what's going to give me that long lasting foundation makeup all day, every day. Feel like if you're going to be out all day for 12 hours, use this baby as a primer. And then we're also going to use the finishing spray at the end of this tutorial. So always give it a good shake and drench yourself in it. You guys thought I was kidding when I said drench yourself in it. Mm -mm, I was not kidding. Oh, I can smell it. I can feel my makeup just gliding in really nicely it feels amazing and i don't even have anything on my face yet we're not going to use foundation for this routine this is just my summer glow makeup look i really don't use foundation in the summer it is hot out there it is humid it is wet it is dry it is sticky no one wants foundation on their face so i kind of keep it as light as i can i'm going to use the tart shape tape 
kind of as a base foundation concealer this baby is going to do it all for me um, and I really like it because it is full coverage I kind of can just go ahead and put it in certain areas of my face get that full coverage but also that no makeup makeup look depending on how much I layer on so what I've been doing is I'll just go ahead and put as so and also do the same thing on the other side blend it as so right around here do the same thing and here because I have a little bit of redness going on right here I have some pimple situation ish going on we are going to conceal that with a little bit of that concealer that cancels it out in the summer my freckles really peek through which I really like I mean I'm not one of those people that hates their freckles I really like my freckles um, so I mean I don't mind it I take the morphe m334 and I start buffing that concealer and as you guys can see I'm not pouncing it in I'm kind of like blending it outwards that's what's going to give me that no makeup makeup look but this is like a small angled buffer brush I really like this for this it's nice and soft does give me a nice airbrush look now I don't want to set that concealer just yet because I am going to go on with more creams I am going to contour with this Maybelline concealer that I am going to use as a contour and I do use just the smallest bit and this is in the shade 30 I think this is coffee put some right there to make my lips look you know with a fluffy brush like this one by BH Cosmetics we're gonna buff that in and as you guys can see I'm just staying right up here I'm not going down just keeping that right up here and then I think for the summer it's very appropriate to use creams always um, then go in with a powder just to set it or you can just go in and just set it with like a setting spray but for me I do have to set it with a powder because I do live in Orlando and I mean if I go outside if I'm not in the AC within 2.5 seconds I'm melting we are going to melt next I am going to set just a tad bit I'm not going to bake I'm gonna just kind of like smooth it onto my face this is the ear spun loose powder I really love this um, just smoothing it very oh so tiny lightly onto the under eyes just setting certain areas of my face just because I don't want anything to move to slide off to just I don't know go off to Hawaii or something I don't want it to go anywhere just grabbing just like the smallest amount and setting the areas that I know will go is going to crease and is going to move on me and I don't want it to perfect it's perfect to set the contour we're gonna take the ABH contour kit taking this shadow right here or this contour right here this bronzer whatever you want to call it this is the Luxie 504 this is a large angle brush we're going to stipple that on as so and as you guys can see I'm stippling it on like this because if I start smearing it I'm gonna move that cream and I don't want to I want to set it doing the same thing right here on the forehead the five head the six head and I do go a little crazy sometimes with the bronzer because I mean it just is just magic it creates magic I like magic I want magic on my face I want to look flawless sometimes I don't know when to stop with bronzer Woo. Woo. I don't have a cream blush so I'm gonna go straight in with this one by wet and wild this is apricot in the middle I really like this one it has like a little sheen to it so I grab that with my big fat fluffy brush by real technique and I just put it on just a tad bit right here I don't put it too much like on the apples of my cheeks I do like to blend it with the um, contour so just a tad bit like that and then I'll go back in with my brush that I do have some bronzer in and I like to blend both of them smear it together make it one make a whole and as you guys can see there is a little bit of like sheen to my face and I haven't even put on any highlight yet. Woo! I am feeling like a glowing goddess. Bitch. 
for the eyes, I do like to keep it as natural as I can. So I'm going to take a little bit of my blush and a little bit of that contour, mix them together in a fluffy brush like this one by um, Morphe and just buff it right here onto the crease. I like to buff it and then bring it down. So it's like you have eyeshadow all over your lid. And then also bring it right here. So I am going to use two different setting sprays. First, we're going to use, this is the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. And the reason why I use this one is because it gives me that beautiful, glowy, donut makeup look. I'm going to glow cakiness. We're going to melt it all off with this one. So always shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And then drench yourself. It's not that hard. So as you guys saw, I did use two primers and I am using two finishing sprays just because I feel like in order to get the finish that you want in your makeup, you, you kind of got to work for it, okay? You kind of got to do a little bit of work. So we're also going to, once this all melts and just, you know, like a good concoction in the face, you're getting that finish that you want. I'm going to completely set it and lock it in place with this one. We are going to use a little bit of highlight. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. We're going to take that with a big, flat, fluffy blush. Fluffy. This is fluffy, not fluffy. This is the Morphe M510. Just a tad bit of that because I do feel like I am glowing already. So I kind of want to give it like a natural glow. I don't want people to think I got highlight, okay? Although I have highlight, but I don't want people to think or know that I have it on. I'm not pressing that brush too harsh on my face. I'm kind of like dusting it and then dusting it right over here too. We're going to set the foundation again. We're going to use the Scandinavia Primer Mist. This thing is perfect. If you guys are like going to go on vacation somewhere tropical, somewhere hot, somewhere humid, somewhere really, really caliente, and you're gonna be under the sun, but you want your makeup to, you know, just look bomb, just last long. Comprate esto. Super exagera for like no reason. To wrap up this look, I am gonna use just a tad bit of mascara. This is a, the Total Temptation by Maybelline. This gives me the volume that I like. This gives me just the long lashes that everyone dreams for. The lip liner, I'm using the PS lip liner, my favorite. And then going in with the ColourPop Aquarius. This is a satin lipstick. And this is it, guys. This is the final look right here. This is my version of a summer glowy makeup look. This is very fresh. This is very lightweight. And when I say lightweight, I mean I'm not caking it on with, like, a lot of foundation or with, like, layers after layers after layers. I'm just keeping it as fresh as I could. And this is just my version. This is just what I like to do. Go ahead and let me know down below what is your go-to makeup look. What is your way of kind of, like, getting that fresh, long-wearing makeup. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe also hit that notification bell so every time i upload you guys are notified i hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys